Hello and welcome to Zap Mercury's. Tighten your belts because today we are going to be doing some node magic. So the effect I want to implement today is I want to voxelize the mesh using using vector displacement. Right now, if you add a monkey and uh, you quickly do subduing surface and add a remesh modifier and send, change the mode to blocks. You get you'll get this voxelized look, and uh, if you change these parameters, like octet, octree depth, and scale, you can achieve different looks to it. So I want to implement something like this, but using vector displacement. Is it even possible? Let's think about it first. So let's start with something simpler than that. Let's imagine we have a 2D shape. For example, I'm going to use a heart shape. And let's imagine we want to we want to voxelize it or make it look like it consists of little squares, like pixels, pixelated. Um, yeah, with 2D case it's called pixelate, sorry. Uh, so we have a heart, and uh, like imagine it consists of all of these tiny little vertices sitting on the edge. So we have our heart in in, uh, in the form of a geometry, and we want to pixelate it. And so there should be some grid, right? Let's draw some grid. Now we can tr transform each vertex at a time to its uh, closest grid point. So these are grid points, right? And we want to we want to move our each of these vertices to the grid points. Uh, how do we do that? Well, it turns out it's super simple. We just pick a point. Uh, it just pick its coordinates and you round them up or down depending on where you want to move it so we can do a round instead of round up or round down like just move it to the closest point so it's gonna look like this uh, its coordinates are uh, let's let's, let's enumerate this one, two, three, four, uh, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we want to move uh, this one. Like we fit around, uh, if we fit around the, the coordinates of this point, we get, well, the closest point to it is this one, right? So it's going to move here. Same with this one, it's going to move here because it's closer to this point. And the, the, the ones that are in the middle are going to go uh, it, the, depending on where uh, the closest point is. But these are going to go here, and so on. We are if we Right now it's gonna look like this, right? It's not, it's not gonna look like a heart, but um, it's close, right? This is what we want. And uh, and if we add smaller grids, it's it's gonna look way better, like. Uh, we are going to change the parameter, the grid side, the grid scale through the nodes, right? We can do it. Okay, so let's try doing this. I'll remove the mesh modifier, so now now, now we have only the subdivision. Uh, so now we have only subdivision modifier left, and I'm going to disable the 
implementations. I'm going to add more subdivisions to the viewport and to the render. I'm not going to apply the subdivision surface when we find it. Now I'm going to go to shading. I'm going to press periods on my notepad so that I, I can zoom close to the object. And I'll create a new material. And uh, I'm going to switch my engine to Cypress. And it's going to stay in CPU. But you can go to, C to GPU. And I'm going to add, uh, go to the material properties. I'm going to uh, go to same scene, change displacement to displacement only. Okay, now we're ready. Let's go to render it mode. And this is what we see. I, I want to change the lighting set. So, where is the mode? Yeah. I'm going to add another one here. On this side. I'm going to change this to array and it's going to be a disk and I'll, I'll go to render it now and scale okay looks good to me okay looks good to me let's select Back our monkey, and here we can we can start building our shader. Okay, so let's first try and figure out what do we have here, and what do we want. So this is the the position. Of the geometry returns the coordinates same goes for object and we can use this so let's use object coordinates now let's round them uh, using the vector map and uh, this, there should be uh, okay. There is on this floor and seal. Let's check if this one has none. Yeah, this one has none. Okay, let's separate x, y, z and uh, combine x, y, z. And in the middle, we are going to run it. Each round each coordinates to the closest. So right now we rounded the coordinates, but our coordinate coordinates uh, are already in the position. So if they are going to add some displacement, it's going to offset from that position that they already have. So. If we do this, uh, this is not going to work. This is not going to work as we expect it to. So, what we have to do first is to subtract the original coordinates from this. So we, let's use vector map and subtract and uh, plug in the object back. So. We get what we want right now. It looks like this because um, object coordinates uh, only have four four voxels. Like uh, it, it has four units um, fitting in it. This point is one one. This point is negative one one. So uh, if we scale. If we scale this vector before we enter it into separate x, y, z, it 
if the scale is say let's say by five and then divided by five okay i'm back sorry my recording was interrupted so if you scale it up, uh, scale this before rounding it if you scale that by some value and then uh, scale it uh, by the reciprocal of, the, of this value and you can control the scale of the grid to which we are rounding up or down but what's the point? Why, why are we doing this? If we can just voxelate it using the remesh modifier, now here's the point. With remesh modifier, you can't do this. So I'm going to add a mix RGB node, but you know this is just uh, the same as the same as uh, mixing two vectors because uh, colors uh, in uh, shader nodes. They can be uh, negative values, they can be uh, bigger than one. Uh, so uh, this, is, this is gonna work. So I'm gonna mix between the original object coordinates and, and these new ones that we created. Oh wait, sorry, 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 no. We are going to mix between zero and and this. So uh, this is what we get the voxelation animation. This is something you can't do with the modifiers. And this is exactly why I'm showing it to you. Okay, let me quickly render this animation. So that's it. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.